Yo! So the link to the drawing that we're doing today is down in the description. There's a link that says drawing link. You can go and get the link to draw today's picture uh, right there. So el link para el dibujo que estamos haciendo hoy va a estar hasta abajo en los links abajo de la descripción del, del video uh, para que ustedes lo puedan hacer este dibujo en su casa uh, gratis. Uh. So all this is done free for you guys thanks to members of the channel. Um, you know, check that link down below if you want to become a member, if you enjoy these videos, if you think these videos uh, bring you some kind of uh, knowledge, and if you want to see more of them, it's a great way to do that. So just supporting the channel directly helps out. <coughs> Addison Alves, Addison Elves, however you say that, how's it going in the chat? So, abajo del, del video también hay un botón que dice háganse miembros haciéndose miembros ayuda a traerles más videos como este al canal ahí también les trae más uh, cosas beneficios pues para ser miembros um, pero sí este dibujo está bajo en el link en la descripción this drawing is down in the link in the description I've already said that but I'm gonna have to say it again I already know so anyway let's get started so here we have the crown right if you take that picture that's down there I've taken it out and cut it out and we've pasted it on here and then I have my filigree cut out right separate so he tomado el dibujo lo he recortado de un pedazo de papel <coughs> y luego lo hemos pegado usando adhesivo en aerosol ¿verdad? para pegar el papel so I've taken some spray adhesive to stick our paper on here this is just like a thick paper is all and then I've cut out our filigree design. So Stephen Ward, how's it going? Nightmare Rick, Lionel Estevez, Paul Tarchala, how's it going? How's it going, everybody? So bienvenidos todos. So first off, before we do anything, we got to mix up some paint. So antes de empezar o hacer nada, vamos a mezclar un poco de pintura. So aquí tenemos el Pache Talon. This is the rojo que vamos a estar usando. So I'm going to be using the Pache Talon for today. Put a focus on it. What's up? What do you need? Money. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna be using this right here. Um, y lo que voy a hacer es voy a echar un poquito de negro. So I'm gonna use some opaque black. Ah, op negro opaco de CreateX. Y voy a hacer como tres cuartos de pintura y un cuarto de, I mean, tres cuartos de reducidor y un cuarto de pintura. So I'm doing about three fourths reducer, uh, one one quart paint. So one to three, more or less. Uh, Art Life Customs. Yeah, I mean, having a machine helps. But there's nothing wrong with doing them by hand. Um, and actually, a lot of stuff that you'll do, you end up having to do by hand anyway, because, like, a lot of stuff you'll paint will have a curve. So, like, painting a motorcycle tank has curves, and when you cut it out and then try to paste it on the tank, it doesn't quite work that way. Some stuff does, like lettering and stuff, you could, if it's curved, but some stuff, you, there's no way. So, you gotta cover the tank in something and then cut it out on the tank. It's different. So, all I'm doing is mixing up the paint, right? Estoy mezclando la pintura muy bien, bien. Uh, Gil y saludos, saludos. All right, so first off, we're going to start off. So voy a tomar un poco de cita de mascarar primero. So I'm just going to take some masking tape. And I'm just going to make me a quick loop. I'm going to make me a quick loop. A loop. A circle. Para pegar aquí esta plantilla. So we're just going to use that to stick our stencil on. Get that hair out of here. Get that hair out of here. It's really stuck on me. Okay. So we're going to take this filigree. Right, and we're going to use it to de decorate the sides of the crown design here. So, 
we're gonna stick it on first on this side right that looks pretty good on there and then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna take it and transfer it on the other side so taking the paint we've mixed So ahí vamos a darle primero a este que se llama filigree y vamos a dar todas las orillas. Alright, so I'm just going to hit the filigree first, hit all the edges on it. Bam. Simple, fast. We could take it off. Then we could take this little piece of tape, transfer it onto the other side. Then we line it up. So, so tomamos nuestra cinta enmascarar. Lo tomamos y lo pegamos al otro lado. Alinearlo lo mejor que se pueda. Right. Let's hit those edges just the same. We could take that off. Now we don't want to get rid of this, right? Because it has those other lines on there. So we might, I might go back and cut some of this out to do some of the shading on here. So we'll just set that aside for now. So no, no lo vamos a tirar. Esto lo vamos a hacer un lado por un momento y vamos a seguir con nuestro diseño. ¿eh? So primero, I'm just gonna hit all the edge on the outside, right? First off, just hit that real nice and good. Get it nice and dark on the edge. What's up, Stephen Ward? Bill? Yo, look at this skull all next to Bill's name. Look, dude, look at this guy. Oh, shit. He's, he's dope. <laughs> uh, no, Stephen Ward. Uh, so Hobby Lobby is actually closed. And Walmart, when we went, uh, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday, uh, was completely out of canvases in their art section. So I'm probably going to have to order some. But Amazon's kind of being weird with their shipping right now, so yeah. Anyway, continuing on with their design here, make sure we got all these edges nice and dark, right? So ya teniendo nuestro diseño bien oscuro aquí, we're gonna start by taking off this bottom piece, right? So aquí vamos a pasar por quitando esta parte de abajo, right? And then we want to leave that edge. So queremos dejar la orillita blanca, ¿verdad? So we want to leave that bottom edge white. Right, so all we're going to do is kind of shade in, coming in off the edges, like so. Right, so nomás queremos sombrear así, hacia adentro de la parte de, de arriba, hacia abajo, ¿eh? Y luego le vamos a dar sombreado de la parte, de, so then we're just going to shadow all the top part, ¿eh? So, so darle sombreado a la parte de arriba. Bam. Right, so now we're gonna take off this middle piece. So, ahora vamos a quitar esta parte del medio. And if I've cut it right, it should just come right off. There you go. Right. So, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that edge again, and we're just gonna shade going down. Bam, same thing on the other side. Bam. Then we're going to give it a couple of strokes going side to side. So maybe one like this. And then maybe a, just a jab. And then another one. And you could add more if you want to get finer in there. You know. If you want to add a couple of fine lines going through there, that's cool. Reduce your paint a little better. A little more. Pues le metemos línea, así, y luego quitamos la parte de arriba. So then we take off this top piece, leaving these two stripes behind, right? So we're going to take off this top piece. So vamos a quitar la parte de arriba. Oh, hopefully it comes off, holy crap. Now I had cut these circles out, but you can see that they're, this paper so thick that they didn't even come cut. It's okay. We could cut them out separately over here. 
and then just paste them back on. It's kind of hard to cut stuff when you're working on a canvas. You don't want to go too deep. It's, it just feels like you're going to cut the canvas, but you guys get the point. You can just stick them back on. So you see, you see it's a bit difficult to cut over a lienzo, so teniendo cuidado si no se le cortaron nomás nomás recortenlas en la mesa y luego transferenlas hacia el dibujo and if you are doing this design maybe using frisky or something hopefully you don't have this problem I just was trying to be careful not to cut the canvas. Get nervous. Makes me nervous cutting on the canvas. Anyway, we got those all nice and cut. Put those on. Bam. And then we're going to continue on. We're going to shade in. So, yeah, trying to let my sombra de aquí. Right, we're just going to go around the edge. Like going all the way around. Oh. Come here, you. I just passed the food delivery I've ever done. What? That's the fastest food delivery I've ever done. Yeah, for real. And then we're just going to hit the edge of these circles. So we're going to solve all of the little circles. And then we're going to hit this edge on both sides and maybe can make some lines coming up. One of the lines and that gives it a nice stretched out metal look. Round out the circles here. Bam. Now we can take off pretty much everything else. Take this off. We could take. Well, careful. There you go. Let me take these off now. Boom. 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 Simple. What's up, Stephen Ward? Uh, 88 Cantana, how's it going? And then I, we're just gonna bring in a shade right in between this, right in this line, just coming off the edges. One there, one there, one there, one there. So la mala vamos a meter una sombra de aquí hacia dentro. Misma aquí, y del otro lado. Round out your circles. Verá sombrear los círculos. Bam. This line's all jacked up, so I'm just going to fix that line. Make sure you cut it a little better. Alright, so now we're going to go back to our filigree design. And we're going to take off this first top part, right? So, vamos a quitarle esa parte de mero arriba. Nomás la vamos a recortar así. Y luego aquí ya nomás la alineamos. Right? So, we'll line up our filigree. And we can just bring in a shadow coming in. Right off that middle, going off to the top. Boom. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, we're 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 holding it together, man. This world's getting crazy right now. That's adentro. 
Then we're gonna do the same thing to the next piece. All right, so aquí vamos a recortar la parte que sigue. Down again, we're gonna line it up right here. And we're just gonna bring in the shadow again. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Simple, quick. Then we can just come in, add a little shade in there. Shadow over here. There you go. There's your simple crown design with a filigree around it. From there, you know, you could add a name. You know, if you're gonna add a name around it, or you could just add like a halo. Do a little shadow. Add some more filigree around. Fast design, easy to follow, and if you're a beginner, it'll make you feel like you accomplished something. Without getting too frustrated, as long as you follow the steps, quick and easy way. Cool enough. <laughs> Hopefully that helps all you guys out and you guys enjoy that. Thank you guys all for watching. It's a short stream tonight. But uh, hopefully that helps you guys all out. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So, ahí está, amigos. Ojalá ustedes les guste el video. Les ayude el video este. Um, y como siempre, nos vemos en el video que sigue. Gracias por ver. Gracias por todo el apoyo. Uh, sí. Nos vemos al rato. So thank you guys for all the support again. We'll see you guys next time, guys. Stay safe out there. Make sure you you wash your hands and stuff. We'll see you guys in the next one later. Cuídense, amigos. Cuídense muy bien.